sports bra but now I look like I'm naked it hurts it's hard it's sweaty it makes you want to cry sometimes but you know what we're having a great time hello everyone and a massive warm welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hi hello my name is Kira so for today's video we have got such an exciting one that I am so passionate about I am going to be talking about my year of working out and in particular I'm going to be talking you guys through my experience with Pamela Reef workouts. Now I have been working out with Pamela for a year now which is so incredible. I've loved every minute of it but I just wanted to make a video dedicated to telling you guys about my experience, show you guys the results, show you guys those changes and how I have been finding it and yeah I'm really excited to film this. If you do enjoy this video please give it a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more weekly videos. I upload every Monday and Thursday at 5pm and alternate Saturdays at 10am. So join the family, comment down below. But yeah I really hope you guys enjoy this video. By the way guys before I get into this video I have to say, I have to put it out there I am no expert. I am no expert in working out and fitness or anything like that. I am an amateur, just like maybe you guys are watching this. Okay, so we need to go back to the very, very beginning. And the way I can do that accurately is to go onto my Instagram and go onto my Pamela Reef sort of chat. And I can literally see all the stories, all my workouts that I've tagged Pamela in. By the way, I'm calling her Pamela Reef. Is it Pamela Reif or Pamela Reef? Everyone says different. Pamela, if you're watching this, please comment below how to correctly pronounce your surname. But um, yeah, I have been tagging Pamela in my workouts for the past year. And we're gonna, we're gonna keep scrolling. We're gonna scroll to the very top and see what the first date was of that very first workout. And as you guys can see, I do a lot. The first workout we've got was the 28th of April. So that was the 28th of April of 2020. Now, at that point, we'd just freshly gone into the national lockdown. I, just a bit of background, I've always been quite an active person, always had gym memberships, gone to the gym, not religiously gone to the gym, but I've always been active. I trained as a dancer for three years, so it was very intense training. So yeah, I have been quite an active person up until this point. So going into that lockdown, I must admit, I'd started slowly to do HIIT workouts, but when I found Pamela, there was no going back. The one thing I remember, very, very clearly remember, is thinking, this is so hard. This is so difficult. It was such a level up for me, for example, this is my experience, going from Joe Wicks to Pamela Reef, because suddenly, we weren't breaking. There's no such thing as having a break with Pamela. We just go for it. We smash it all out. It's amazing. Obviously, you can take rests, but it was just so full on. And I remember thinking, I'm never going to be able to do this. It's so hard. She is a machine. She is a rock, you know. And I, now, a year later, I do it, obviously. There's things I'm, I still need to work on. I've got so much room for improvement, but it's gone from looking really difficult to actually, Kira, you can do this. So that was pretty much how I got into the at-home workouts, was just being thrown into that lockdown and not having the gyms to go to, and I started doing Pamela's workouts. And I would say, honestly, for the first six months, 
I didn't follow the workout schemes. I didn't follow any of the workout plans. Like I say, for that first six months, I just chose what I wanted to do, what I felt like doing on the day. So some days I'd do a bit of abs. I did a lot of cardio in that first six months. Um, now, obviously, I follow the workout plans, which you can get on the Pam app. Also, she posts some of them on her Instagram story. I just find that there's a lot more, there's just that perfect balance. You know, you've got your cardio days, you've got your booty days, your ab days, and that's really good for someone like myself because I always just used to pick whatever I wanted to do, whereas now I follow that plan. It keeps me motivated, it keeps me on track, and that started happening in September. As a minimum, I have been working out four times a week, minimum. Sometimes on the fifth day, I'll go for a run, sometimes I'll work out five days a week. It really does vary, but the minimum has always been four times. At the moment this year, so 2021, I've actually been working pretty flat out since like the beginning of the year. So for me, the 30 minute plan has suited me a lot more than the 45 minute sweaty. Um, this is because on a morning, I get up at like 7 a.m. and I smash my workout out in the morning so it just suits me more doing only 30 minutes because that's just enough time for me like it's not too long that I'm gonna be late for work but I feel like that 30 minute plan is pretty much what I have been doing for the past four months like I said I'll try and grab some videos and pictures from me last year as far as I can go back I really regret not doing like proper before and after pics but I'm sure I can find something but I'm gonna insert like me now so my bum don't get me wrong I've always had like quite a peachy bum like quite a nice bum but it's like I feel like a new woman the bum the booty it is so peachy and it's just come out of nowhere I actually think in the past four months like we have been in lockdown here in England for four months she is gonna be able to go out head out and actually show off the peachy bum it is so great even my mum said my bum has gotten bigger it is very very peachy and very perky and i am very happy about that progress my legs the interesting thing is is that growing up my legs were always something i actually was more self-conscious about which looking back now that seems really odd to say because I'm so full of confidence now and I, I love my legs and I love my body but as a teen I used to not like my legs I used, I used to just think they were too chunky and you have your own kind of moments you know we all have our own insecurities but I've just grown to love them and I feel like the shape of my legs is a lot more defined. I'm always going to be a curvy gal and I love that and I think as long as you're happy do what you want to do like do what you want to do be who you want to be but I'm so happy with how my legs are looking I think they look strong the lines guys they're always there like the lines are always there and I I'm actually just gonna stand up to sort of show that bearing in mind it's literally like 8 p.m right now it's like the end of the day and this is what we've got to work with obviously I'll insert the other clips as well but this is me like at 8 p.m i'm not like tensing or anything like this is just what we are getting but as you can see the lines they are kind of still there you know it's amazing how much stronger i actually feel i remember doing like ab workouts and like my head i'd literally be lifting my head like this like i can't go on i can't do it anymore whereas now I'm just so much stronger. I've got a long way to go. She still cannot do a full on jackknife. Like I struggle to do a jackknife with like my legs completely straight out. I do it with them slightly bent and not too low just so I can keep my abs on the floor you know we're not arching that back but I still have things I have to work on that is one of them but I'm really happy with kind of my stomach and my lines and yeah I've worked really hard on that so that's really come out of nowhere this time last year I certainly did not have abs like that and then the final thing I kind of wanted to focus on was just like my back my arms so I would say that like as I did that nothing was really happening 
that's probably more the area I need to focus on more like moving forwards is back arms weights I'm loving the new like boob workout that she's just brought out that is amazing I love doing that it's one of my favorites and um, I really like her back workout as well we'd be doing that we love all that stuff I think my back is definitely stronger than it used to be like just as a whole um, and when I filmed the video clip this morning I kind of could see some definition there which I've never really paid much attention to before and uh, it's one of those things like oh we want to grow the booty we want those abs but upper body is just as important and definitely moving forwards I want to carry on with that obviously following the plan I do everything each week however I definitely feel like I am a lot more defined and a lot more stronger um, and moving forwards I just want to keep up with that as well. I think everyone finds that fitness YouTuber who they kind of settle to more and they like more. You kind of find someone and you're like okay I like you, I like your workouts, we're in this together and that was very much how I felt about Pamela. Her, she's just such good vibes, she's got such a great personality, wow. Sounds like I'm, I'm just her number one fan basically. What I liked, obviously I love her workouts, I love the dancey ones as well. So she's got like dance, um, cardio workouts, so like 12 minutes and you're, you're just, you're working out but you're having a dance and it's a great time. They're some of my favourites. I love the music, she has the best tunes. I actually, I'm a radio presenter so I'm all about the music. And a lot of new songs I actually find through Pamela's workouts, which is really awesome. She just makes working out fun. And I know that may seem like barbaric, but she makes it fun and I genuinely feel happy working out. And that's, some, that's something people ask me is how do I stay motivated? How am I motivated to work out at 7 a.m.? every single morning, sometimes earlier. And the reason is, is because, firstly, obviously I'm doing Pamela's workouts, but secondly, I love doing it. I love how it makes me feel. I love getting that energy in the morning. It's the best way to start my day on an absolute high. I love the feeling. I love seeing the results, which I have seen. And the interesting thing is, which I need to add, is that there is no ideal for me which I've only recently realised, there is no ideal body or ideal, there's no goal for me. All I am doing is working out, it makes me happy, I love doing it, so carry on doing it. It's completely part of my lifestyle, my routine, my day-to-day -day routine, but it's not like I'm trying to be like, I don't want to look like a certain individual or shape my body to be like this or have particular goals in my mind. Obviously goals are great, but it's never been like that for me. I literally just get out of bed in the mornings because I love working out and I love how it makes me feel. And I, I love it. I feel stronger. I feel I look stronger and fitter. I'm, I've got better stamina. It just improves all aspects of life. It's just, we're getting those endorphins, you know? We're pumping them out. It makes me feel good. And that truly is the reason I'm doing what I'm doing. And the reason I do this is because it makes me happy. And um, like I say, I have tried other fitness YouTubers stuff. And there's so many amazing fitness YouTubers out there and fitness people. But like I say, Pamela is just the one that I am Fine, I'm just more suited to and I love all her workouts and yeah don't get me wrong I can't do everything it hurts it's hard it's sweaty it makes you want to cry sometimes but you know what we're having a great time so that is where I am at as I'm actually filming this it is Monday the 19th of April so it's it's April 2021 I'm gonna carry on doing what I'm doing. I'll definitely do more updates in the future about like my workout experience. And now I've got this video as kind of like a base point, I can grow from this and we can look back on this and it's gonna be an exciting fitness journey. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited that I've documented this. And if anyone is thinking about starting to work out at home, doing Pamela Reef workouts, go for it. You will never go back. It's a great time. There's different plans as well. Like I talked about the 30 minute plan and the 45 minute sweaty, but there's so many. There's a beginner's plan. There's a 45 minute slow pan, pan, 
pan or plan? Plan. There's a dance plan, there's so many different kind of regimes that are catered for different abilities and what you fancy and what you want to do. So there's something for everyone. So yeah, that is basically my experience with Pamela Reef's workouts and that is my one year of doing them. That is where we are at. Very, very happy about the progress and yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, please do give it a massive thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more weekly videos. I upload every Monday and Thursday at 5 p.m. and alternate Saturdays at 10 a.m. So join the family, comment down below, turn your post notifications on because you don't want to miss a thing. I hope you all have a super amazing day and you're keeping amused and staying safe and I'll catch you guys soon with a brand new video. Mwah. Bye everyone!